welcome to the second unfortunate vlog. So, what has happened thus far? We have read the first five books in this series of unfortunate events. So, I am on book six, The Ursatz Elevator. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I am not 100% certain. If my voice sounds super weird right now, it's because my sinuses are acting up. But anyways, series of unfortunate events. If you did not watch my first vlog, you need to go do that. Otherwise, you will be very lost. And we don't want to be lost around here. So what has Count Olaf done thus far in the lives of the Baudelaire siblings? He tried to marry Violet in order to gain their fortune, of course. And then he tried to take the children to Cuba, I believe. Yeah, so that he could murder them there and gain their fortune that way. Then he tried to gain ownership of the children once again by pressuring their aunt to commit suicide, which did not work. She still ended up dying anyway, though. How unfortunate. And then, Lumber Mill. That's, that's the fourth one. <laughs> All of them are starting to blend together in my mind. So this is good that I'm trying to separate them. He tried to gain ownership by hypnotizing the children and getting their fortune. And then he tried to get them to fail boarding school. And so now we're here, the Ursatz Elevator. I'm very excited. I have no idea what it's about. I haven't started it yet. So we will learn together from here. But let's talk about the plan of attack, okay? I took my last final today for the semester, which I'm super hype about. I still have an essay left to write, but that'll, that's, that's, we don't got to worry about that right now. <laughs> so this is the perfect time to just completely binge read the crap out of the series. I have eight left because there are 13 books in the series. I need to read 75 books by the end of this month, and I believe I'm at 59 right now. So your girl has some reading to do. All right, I will update you as I go along. <laughs> All righty, it's grind time. This is what it is. I'm working on my essay right now, but I also want to talk about the sixth book. So basically the Baudelaire's find this elevator that really isn't an elevator. The word air, airsats means imposter, basically. You pretend to be something you're not. So the ersatz elevator is actually not an elevator. It's just this vertical tunnel in this building. So the Baudelaire's go down there naturally using this rope that they created and they find the quagmires. The, their friends that Count Olaf stole, yes, they find them in a cage. So then they're like, oh, we need to save them now. But when they go back up to make a plan and come back down again, they're gone. And they believe that Count Olaf is going to sell them in this auction. Now, Count Olaf basically stopped caring about the Baudelaire's and now wants the Quagmire. Is that how you say their last name? I really don't know. Quagmire, Quagmires. Anyways, they have a fortune also, and so basically, Count Olaf has this obsession with orphans that have fortunes. So, I also wanted to talk about a side thing, kind of. Um, I know that Beatrice has something to do with everything. Beatrice? Okay. Because Lemony Snicket, I know that's not the author's real name, but I don't remember the author's real name, so we're just gonna call him Lemony Snicket. At the beginning of every single one of his books, he dedicates it for Beatrice. Whoever this person is, is passed away, um, because he always talks about, like, for Beatrice, when we met, my life began, soon afterward, yours ended. But listen here, there's something with Beatrice. Beatrice is a part of the story somehow. There's something to do with Olaf and Beatrice and Lemony Snicket. It all ties together. And it's driving me crazy because I just want to know how. Every once in a while throughout his books, he'll kind of just bring up Beatrice and bring up Count Olaf in a way that has nothing to do with the Baudelaire's. It's more like this other side. I want to know who Beatrice is. I want to know what Count Olaf has to do with all of it. Like, what's going on, bro? 
to be continued. All right, all right. I am almost halfway through the Vile Village, number seven. It's funny because um, Isadora, who is their friend, one of them that they're trying to find, she is a poet and she keeps writing these poems that end up in this village that they're living in now, but they can never find out where the letters are coming from and they don't know what they mean. So they're basically trying to figure out where the heck the two kids are being kept and where they can find them but because i've seen the show already i know where they are <laughs> and it's the kind of bothering me like i wish i didn't but it's fine also i have to say that this cover is my favorite so far like i don't know what it is i just think it's super cool anyway the man that they live with is making this giant house kind of it reminds me of up he's making this hot air balloon house and the kids are like let's just all just fly up in the air shall we now that i'm actually done with all of my schoolwork i have time to read <laughs> so that's kind of cool <laughs> whoa 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 hold on now there's another snicket hello his full name is jackass snicket not sure if I said his first name right, but there's another Snicket, like Lemony Snicket, like like the narrator. What? That's all I needed to say. Um, I'm almost done with this book. I am just completely blown away that the fact that there is another Snicket. This all has to add up somewhere. <laughs> Let's talk. I'm on the ninth book, The Carnivorous Carnival. I should find my bookmark. Oh, <laughs> I found it. This is a super random fact that none of you asked for, but this bookmark was in my couch for an entire year. <laughs> so I definitely lose my bookmarks more than I remember where they are. So I don't think I talked about the eighth book, which is The Hostile Hospital, at all with you guys, which is a good one. So the Baudelaire's escaped the village tried to go with the Quagmires, their friends, up on the floating house. They, they couldn't. They didn't climb up the ladder in time, ended up falling back to earth, survived, ended up wandering until they found this town. They tried to contact Mr. Poe, you know, Mr. Poe, our man, the one who is overseeing the Baudelaire fortune. He works for the bank. They tried to contact him. He didn't end up answering. They had to run away from the police, ended up joining this group that goes to this hospital and sings to sick people. They basically get hired by the hospital to work in the records area, and they try to find out more information on their parents on the fire that you know, burnt down their entire house. They end up finding this file that talks all about the fire, except it only has one page. They're missing 12 pages. They don't know where they are. Most likely Count Olaf has them. That one page tells them that there could possibly be a survivor of the fire. Now, this is what I think is also interesting. The fire is titled The Snicket Fire. So you know what I've been saying about all of this connecting and with Beatrice and with the narrator? Like, I'm just saying, Olaf also has a girlfriend who was the guardian back in book six, the ersatz elevator. <laughs> so she now is traveling with Olaf and the rest of his crew. They end up being hired by the hospital. They kidnap Violet and they try to cut her head open. It ends up obviously backfiring. They escape. They actually end up hopping in the back of Olaf's car. They sneak in his trunk. He drives them to the carnival. And so now, here we are. I just, I still can't wait for all of the dots to be connected. I'm, it's, ah, uh, it's driving me so insane. that is all. <laughs> and that is it for vlog number two of a series of unfortunate events. I was going to try to read all of the rest of the books in this vlog, but obviously that took much longer than I originally anticipated, and this vlog would be way too long if I was to do so. So, Merry Christmas, you get an extra video. I hope all of you guys are staying super safe, super healthy. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the rest of this series. Bye.